everybody. So it's been a long time, but I'm back. If you're new to this channel, hi, I'm Jennifer or so long on this channel. And today I'm going to be teaching you how to play Red Velvet Psycho. I'll be basing this tutorial off of the cover that I did, which I'll have linked up in the cards and in the description below if you would like references. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial and let's get started. So the first thing that you're gonna wanna know is the chords. You're gonna basically start off with your ukulele and you're gonna have your strings all in standard tuning. So G, C, E, a. And then so I split the chords up into two sections. Majority, which are basically the chords that you'll play for the majority of the song, like the verse, pre-chorus, chorus, and then a separate section for chords exclusively for the bridge. So we're gonna first start off by learning the chords in the majority section. So the first chord that you're gonna wanna know is G sharp, which is open on the G string, second finger on the third fret of the C string, third finger on the third fret of the E string, and then first finger on the first fret of the A string. So it should sound like this all together. The next chord that you're gonna wanna know is G, which is open on the G string, first finger on the second fret of the C string, third finger on the third fret of the E string, and then second finger on the second fret of the A string, which should sound like this all together. For this part, you can also play G minor too. In the cover, I had G to give like more effect. I've seen some people use G minor for this song, so in order to play G minor, all you have to do is open on G string, second finger on the second fret of the C string, third finger on the third fret of the E string, and then first finger on the first fret of the A string, so it should sound like this. But for this tutorial, we're just gonna use G. The next chord that you're gonna need to know is C minor, which is open on the G string again, barring your first finger all across the third fret of the C, E, and A string. So it should sound like this. Or if you're not comfortable with bar chords, you can do this. Basically just have your first finger, second finger, and third finger on the third fret of the C, E, and A string respectively. So it should sound like this. And the last chord that you're gonna need to know for the majority section is G sharp, which is a little hard, but basically all you have to do is bar your first finger on the third fret of the ukulele, then take your third finger and put it on the fifth fret of the G string right here. And then because you already have your finger barred across the third fret, this will have the third fret sound on the C string. And then you're gonna put your second finger on the fourth fret of the E string. And then because you already barred it, you're just gonna have this for the A string. Basically, it should just sound like this. <laughs> I know that this is like a difficult bar chord, but if you just like continue to practice, you'll get it. So you got this. <laughs> so the next section that you need to know is the chords used exclusively in the bridge. You're gonna first start off with G sharp, which we learned just now, and then G, and then C minor. And then you're going to play F, which is second finger on the second fret of the G string, open on the C string. First finger on the first fret of the E string, and then open on the A string, so all together it should sound like this. And then after F, you're gonna play G sharp again. And then you're gonna play D sharp. And then you're gonna play B. So basically for B, all you need to do is bar your first finger on the second fret of the ukulele. Take your second finger and put it on the third fret of the C string, and then put your third finger on the fourth fret of the G string. All together, it should sound like this. And then right after that, you're gonna play B flat. So basically all you need to do is just shift your position from the second fret to the first fret. So all together, it should sound like this. And you're basically gonna keep your hands in the same position so that way it's the same chord except like one fret up when it comes to B flat to B. To get from B to B flat, all you need to do is just shift down. And those are all the chords that you need to know for Psycho. And now we are going to get started with the strumming pattern. This is actually kind of a weird strumming pattern. I didn't realize it was gonna be this weird when I first covered it. Hopefully it's not too hard to learn, but basically we're gonna start off with the intro, then the verse, then the pre-chorus, chorus, and then bridge, and then outro. So for the intro, basically all you need to do is use the chords from the majority section and then pluck C individually. And then you're gonna pluck E and A together like this. So then the rhythm should sound like this. So right after you play E and A together, you're going to mute your strings. So take this part of your hand and just gently have it over your string so that you mute the sound. So it should sound like this.
and you're gonna continue that pattern for the rest of the intro. So with the chords, it should sound like this. And then right after you finish that part for G sharp, you're going to strum down and then mute your strings. So like this to give a little bit of an effect before you go on to the verse. So for the verse, basically all you're gonna need to do is pluck all your strings. So you're gonna take each of your four fingers minus your pinky and place them on each string. So G, C, E, A. But instead of plucking them individually, you're gonna pluck them all together like this. So you're gonna pluck all your strings, strum up. So you're gonna take all your fingers and just go up like that, except not as dramatically. <laughs> and after that, you're gonna slap. So basically just mute your strings, but make a little like tapping sound. And then after that, you're gonna pluck all your strings again. So basically it should sound like this all together without any chords, so. Every time you pluck your strings, like right after you slap the ukulele, basically all you need to do is just slap again <laughs> to start off with a new repeated pattern. So it should sound like this. And so it should sound like this with the chords and the melody to give you like more perspective. So. After you finish the verse, you're going to go into the pre-chorus. And the pre-chorus is really easy because all you have to do is pluck all strings and then just leave the chord alone. <laughs> like literally let it ring out into the air, which is why I like to call it like let the chord ring out because it's literally, if you like hear the vibrations, it's literally kind of like ringing out into the air. So after you play G sharp, when you pluck all the chords and let the chord ring out, you're going to strum down quickly like this and then mute your strings and then afterwards you're going to mute your strings like this so that you can't have any like pitches coming from the strings and then you're going to strum down to transition into the chorus so with the chords and the melody the whole pre-chorus section should sound like this <laughs> go into the chorus which we'll start learning now <laughs> so the chorus is a little bit complicated but just bear with me you got this basically all you have to do is pluck all strings strum up slap pluck all strings consecutively like this strum up slap and then pluck all strings again and then you're gonna slap and then repeat the whole cycle again which is really confusing but in order to keep you on track when you pluck all the strings twice they should sync with a word in the chorus so for example when they start singing you got me feeling like a psycho psycho you can see how when i pluck all my strings twice when i sing psycho the syllables for psycho matched up when i plucked all the strings twice so this pattern basically follows throughout the entire chorus and it should still keep you on track with the chords all together it should sound like this and then with the chords and melody it should sound like this you got me feeling like a psycho psycho didn't sync up with those last two lines it's synced up with the first two so that should keep you on track and yeah that's basically all you need to know for the chorus if you do have any questions though let me know because like that wasn't the best explanation sorry so then after you learn the chorus basically just keep using the same strumming patterns that we learned earlier for the other parts of the song until you get to the bridge so for the bridge it's basically a mix between the pre-chorus and then a little bit of something else so you're basically gonna start off with plucking all strings and letting the chord ring out for all of Joy's part. And then after you hit F, you're going to play G sharp. You can either pluck all strings repeatedly or strum down repeatedly. So I would do it on a standard beat. So counting one, two, three, four. And every time you played a chord four times, you switch. So it should sound like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then right after you play D sharp and switch to B, you're going to do the same thing again where you pluck all strings and let the chord ring out. 
same thing with E flat. And then you're gonna do the same thing that you did in that transition in the pre-chorus where you strum down twice, <laughs> muted all strings, and then muted the strings here, and then strum down, and then you're going to play the chorus again. I'll basically do the whole thing so that you can follow along. So here is the bridge. Don't look back, Next section that you need to know how to play is the outro and I accidentally forgot to write how to play the outro so I'm really sorry about that. For the outro it's slightly different but it's basically following the same strumming pattern as the verse where you plucked all strings, strummed up, slapped and then plucked all strings again and then slap and then repeat the same pattern again so it should be like this. Hey now we'll be okay. Once you finish the outro part that has the same strumming pattern as the verse, you're then going to move into this plucking pattern where you play these strings individually. So the pattern goes like this. G, C, E, C, A, C, E, C, G, C, E, C, A, C, E, C. And then basically with the chords, it should sound like this. One, two, three, four, 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 one, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then after that, you're going to strum down and then mute your strings because you reach the end of the song. At a faster tempo, that whole part with the verse strumming pattern should sound like this. Hey, no, we'll be okay. 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 It's alright. It's alright. you're going to strum down twice and then mute all strings and then you reach the end of psycho hopefully there's going to be the option where you can slow down the video if not you can just play along with the other part that i had earlier <laughs> and yeah that's pretty much all you need to know in order to play psycho by red velvet hopefully you guys learned from this tutorial sorry i haven't really done a tutorial in a long time so my like teaching style is a little rusty <laughs> but if you have any more questions or you are still like confused on anything let me know and i'll reply in the comments and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video i just wanted to say that i'm really thankful you guys as always and I love you guys very much and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!